Beautiful shot there from Perez from 87. And it is a chilly day out here, the wind whipping across from West Sands. Victor Perez, the Frenchman. First sight of his talent, really, on for a lot of people. 76th in the list, first year on tour, third on the Challenge Tour last year. Got him straight onto the tour for 2019. Well, it's not Victor Perez, is it? Must have had looked different from yesterday. It is. And this is Victor Perez. And the joint fairways add up to 19. That's a fabulous drive. Very tight up that fourth. A compact, powerful swing. That's a beauty. Conventional wisdom is the front nine plays out in a straight line after the first hole, but it doesn't. This hole takes about a 15 to 20 degree turn more west. So this is almost straight across from the right with the wind. And you can definitely get there in two, especially if you hit a little riding draw shot on that breeze. Pick up an extra 15. Oh, he's going to hit the stone that he was aiming at. Oh, how about that? That's accuracy. <laughs> I don't think I've ever seen them to hit that stone off a tee shot. <laughs> That's the marker stone that actually is right in the middle of the fairway. Our leader. Quite an inviting little chip, this. Give it the right first bounce. It's going nicely. Sit down. Well judged, coming straight down the breeze. Have that for a birdie. Southgate has nudged his, his putt in, so this is to take the lead again at 21 under. Wide starts, trying to keep still, and yeah. just about. Yeah. For the lap of honour, but. A nice birdie, 21 under. 105 for Perez out of the rough. He's going to have to expect this to release some. Went straight off the right. Threw it way up in the air. Are you impressed with him, Jay? Very much so. A great swing, Sam. Looks to have good body language. Looks confident, comfortable in the situation. That's a great two at the eighth, and Perez joins Southgate on 22 under. Lowest score to par of the year is 24 under. He's just over 285 yards, and I think that that bunker is right in his area, and likely the area the ball will end up. Certainly Lagergans went close to it, and he's got a bit of cut spin on it, and he's a bit of luck. Oh, he just carried it. Okay. Yeah, it's He's the got the same problem as okay. Joachim Lagergum moments yeah. ago, nearly on the 10th tee. But I like the club selection. For the lead. For the lead. Oh my, that did everything it needed to do to miss. More aggressive play here for Perez. Yeah, very, very good. Oh, he's launched himself at that. Oh, what a shooter, that's going to get there. Oh, not quite. Missed it on the right of his line. Safe one there for Perez. 
because he's going for the near flag. I say he's aiming it right. Not sure if this is a gamble worth taking. Yeah, you right, he says. I think he's ripped it, Jake. No, I didn't quite, quite enough carry on it, but that's going to get virtually front edge. And it's just going to creep on. Fabulous shot from Perez there. Both players hit great tee shots. Much easier putt for Eagle for Perez. He's down in the bowl, has to putt up and out of it. Big left to right break here. This one inside of six or seven feet is pretty doable. And that's a very poor one for Perez there. He's two behind. He had a great chance. He still has a chance to get one back, but he's kind of taking the pressure off his partner or opponent, Matt Southgate, who's not much outside them. Perez this is a big putt for him. Half a chance here to... Is it going to hold its line? I don't think it is. Oh. Perfect line was the one that Southgate hit it on. Southgate really seems to be hitting That's on good, all set. It's going to be thing. tough for Perez to overtake him. On down the sixth fairway, the safe play, particularly where the flag is cut today, on the right side, gives you a slightly better entry. swing you know oh, that's a magnificent iron shot too great chance for birdie potential two-stroke swing here this is a makeable one for birdie for Perez breaking from the right has to start it oh, nearly a foot outside right Perez beautiful driver of the golf ball he's really struck the ball well today he's been out putted so far right so Absolutely. Absolutely, this is long too. This is going to run a long way down there. The Southgate's ball is just passing. So Perez comfortably can get up in two. I think Matt Southgate may be able to reach as well. But two great drives for these young protagonists. Never won before. They're not really helping him here. bit right, might catch the bank, get a kick left. Oh, he's well up there, that's not bad, he's chipping straight into the wind there, that will not be a difficult chip at all, come back down onto the flat, straight across the green. A bowl here, this is not an easy putt to gauge the distance. He's done very well, <laughs> very well. And Matt Southgate still got four feet for par, big putt here. Oh, brilliant for the young Frenchman. Getting there, look, you can see what it means to him. Go hard, go hard, go, go. And from where he was, it's probably just going to trickle off the bank. Not a bad result, putting up the hill from there. In fact, excellent shot. Friendly hole location, back right. Going with an eight iron. This is not much club here for 192 yards. You don't even need to go over the old railway shed. Well, the one thing you don't need is a seagull. <laughs> that is magnificent. Absolutely magnificent for us. Best shot he's hit all day. You pressure straight on Southgate. You better explain the seagull reference, Mark. <laughs> no, I hit the seagull on this hole last year in the senior British Open. Looks like he's taking dead aim. 179 to the hole. 168 to get it over the bunker with a left to right wind. Loves it. He absolutely loves it. Oh, and why wouldn't you? <laughs> Another fabulous shot from the two leaders. Green is not drivable today into a left to right wind. one didn't even carry the road but it scampered up there okay Mark. Very odd that wasn't it? Beautiful. 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 Two 
two putts will do, but he'd like to do it with one. Come on, Mike. A par four is enough. Victor Perez from France is the first ever French champion on the old course at St Andrews. He's the Alfred Dunhill Lynx champion for 2019, and what a hugely impressive performance it's been by the tall Frenchman. He wins by one from Matt Southgate. 64, 68, 64, and a 70 on the old course. And his French colleagues and friends are there to give him a traditional champagne soaking. <laughs> you know, he kept it bottled up so well for so long. Now he can let it all out. Well done, Victor. Well done, JP Fitzpatrick. Thanks, Caddy, for Rory McElroy bringing the winner home. Victor, many, many congratulations. A wonderful victory. Your first on the European Tour, and it's come in a marquee event in this iconic tournament and uh, golf course. Just describe your emotions for me. It's really hard to describe uh, right now. I feel like the emotions were really high all day and um, really cold and windy, long day out there. And I felt like I was able to battle. It wasn't, wasn't easy. Matt played amazing. I, I was expecting some of the guys to charge. And we were fortunate that it was kind of a one-on-one -on -one battle on the back nine and was able to uh, make that birdie on 14 that really pulled me back and uh, then just held, held strong till the end. So much can and does happen on this golf course over the last few holes. Just describe what you were thinking, what you were feeling as those last four unfolded, having got into a tie for the lead. Yeah, obviously after the birdie on 14, getting tied for the lead, playing 15, I was just um, trying to still give myself chances. You always expect these guys at this level to make birdies and you have to stay aggressive. I think when Matt piped his drive down 16, I was like, well, there, there you have it. You know, this is what these guys do. They, they come in there, they give themselves chances and I hit a great drive into 17 that really settled me and then a great iron shot that I thought I hit it close. And then um, obviously going down the last with a one shot lead was um, is, is, is all you can ask for and then and, and luckily uh, power was good enough. You had Rory McIlroy's long-term caddy JP on the bag. How valuable was his experience today in those circumstances? Yeah, obviously JP knows the three courses like uh, the back of his pocket so especially St Andrews it was a huge advantage for me to to know where to hit it and, and really trust him. You know, he, he said it from the get-go, my job is to, to tell you where to hit it and your job is to execute and I was able to do that really well today. This victory takes you into the top 20 of the race to do by the top 70 in the world rankings. Just how excited about what's potentially possible now with the rest of this year? Uh, I, didn't, I didn't, I was trying not to think about it. I turned my phone off yesterday after the third round and, and kept it off till, it's still off actually, and I just didn't want it to start thinking. It's so easy with the, the tournament, the, the magnitude of the tournament and the players that were in the field to start thinking, oh, what if I win, what if this, what if that. I was just trying to keep doing what I was doing, so and I knew the, the best thing for me was to turn my phone off, and, and uh, yeah, it's obviously I'm delighted. How will you celebrate this victory? I don't know, I'm just 20 minutes down the street, so I might, we might have a few drinks. I would expect so. Many congratulations. Yeah, Wonderful thank you. playing. Thank you. Yeah, congratulations, Victor Perez. I think when he turns his phone on, there might just be a few hundred messages of congratulations. To watch another European Tour video, click here. And to subscribe, click here.